As endless hours passes, time tends to disappear. It's too late, too early for some. It's just as late or early for the different types of light to shine through. Peaceful as a new dawn rises, wiping away any signs of sleepiness. Who can sleep anyway? I did wake the bird one night. It was home. I did wake it up because my own thoughts were killing me. And I wanted to know. I touched a rock. I became a rock. I became the last piece of a puzzle to piece which doesn't seem to fit anywhere the bird latched onto my wings and transcended them into a light the landlords are blinding my eyes with their stare they are keeping a watch over the rocks so far below the surface there's no surface but there right below the surface i can spot a lonely rock amongst the fish muted and deaf they roam around in their own lights but they have no lights and there's no bottom they can't close their eyes for somebody's happiness they are unable to open their eyes. This is how... No, no, it's emptiness. And the house of stars is empty. Just as they rip out of the souls away from the universe. The rock will suffocate you as you float around in this vicious melting rock. You'll be sleeping in there with the other beings on a bed of rock, on the sheets of rocks. Beings with thousand year old beating hearts made out of stone. Throughout billions of years, time has been constantly spinning in raging storms of rocks, through oceans, skies made out of rock. Pick up, where am I? In the house of abyss. Is there any forgetfulness in the house of abyss? Not your own, but for others.